when I first started becoming a fan, like I was I was on the player side, but I always felt like, you know, the players got to be loyal to the team. You know, what I mean, like I'm loyal to the team. The players got to be loyal to the team. And when they wanted to leave the team, I would get mad at the players. And then I went to a phase where I like started understanding why teams get rid of players, legends sooner rather than later. Or when it's most beneficial for them. Like when the Packers got rid of Brett Favre. I understand when teams have to let go of players. And now I'm at the point where I, I respect the players who are like realize their leverage and their worth. And do what they have to do to make their situation better. So in saying that, I completely respect what Dak Prescott said. Jerry Jones and the Cowboys came to him and they said, we want to pay you. And then Dak was like, okay. And then Dak started balling out. And then he was like, you know what, though? I feel like I'm worth a little bit more money. I, I do, I, you know, I, can we add a couple more M's to that? And Jerry was like, oh, whoa, 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 hold up now. Hold up, hold up. The hell are you doing, Dak? We had an agreement. Don't try and change the agreement now, Dakota. You looked me in the eye, you said yes. So now you need to keep your word. And Dak said, man, fuck that. Because if I go out here and I tear my ACL or if I start playing like shit, y'all won't take two seconds before y'all trade me. All right, Dakota, you like it? You, you, that's how you want to play it. <laughs> and my Jerry Jones accent impressionation is not the best, but um, basically, Dak, uh, we're, we're, we're not going to sign you to that mega deal you want. I know you're looking at the Aaron Rodgers of the world and the, and the Patrick Mahomeses and the Deshaun Watsons, but we just don't think you're that good, Dakota. And I agree. I agree with, with Jerry and his brain trust. I don't think Dak is that good. I don't think he's worth that money. And I don't think any of these quarterbacks are fucking worth Like, there's, very, there's only maybe two or three quarterbacks that are actually worth that money. And even the ones who are worth that money, I don't even know if I would pay them. I wish I had a fucking nationally syndicated show back in 2018 when the Packers signed Aaron Rodgers to that mega extension. Because I said back then, and I'll say it now, I would not have done it. He's too old, and he wasn't playing well enough for me to command that price tag. And really, since then, he only had last year where he played at that level. And I'm not just playing you to play at an MVP. I'm not just paying you $35 million, $40 million to play at an MVP level. I'm paying you this much money to win Super Bowls, bruh. And to make it to the Super Bowl. And if you can't do that, Rodgers, then you're not worth that money. And I'd rather put that money into other players building a better team. And like I said, roll the dice every four or five years with a young quarterback coming out of the uh, college system. And I think that's what the Cowboys have realized. And uh, over the weekend or like in the, in the past week or so, I guess Dallas released this hype video for the 2021 season and trying to, uh, you know, get potential season ticket holders excited about buying season tickets or already or people who already have season tickets, you know, like just get excited, man. Get excited, man. This year is going to be fun. COVID is going to be gone. We're going to have vaccines, I guess. You know, we're going to have people back in the stands like get hype, man. Get your jerseys ready. Get get excited. We got the draft coming up and. Would, would you would you look at what what they what Dallas did? They they had a whole three minute hype video or whatever however long the hype video was, and they didn't have Dak Prescott in one single frame. They didn't have this nigga in one single frame, and you telling me that this team is going to re-sign Dak Prescott after he like. Just like broke his knee, his uh, his his ankle, and that shit was like flopping like a, like a like a fish. <laughs> like, I don't even know. It's just it just was flopping. Like dude, there was some anime or some television show where like the dude broke his wrist and that jump was just like flopping around. I don't know. Like I'm trying to. I wish my recall my re recall was better, but it, it looked nasty, man. The D Dak Prescott injury looked dis looked nasty, but uh, apparently he's he's all in, he's all healed up and everything, and he'll he'll be. He'll be he'll be uh, healthy, man. No, and I don't even see that happening. Rick LM says they're gonna trade their first Gallup and Diggs for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, first of all, I think they would need to trade two first rounds this year and next year, and probably a third or something else as well. Gallup and Diggs, that would be nice, but I think they would need to trade two first rounders. I mean, Golf got or or, or 
who who would how, how did it go? But uh, Stafford got two first rounders. Like, come on, man. You might even need three for Aaron Rodgers. And I doubt that Rodgers. Now, Rodgers probably wouldn't want to go to Dallas. And I wonder if McCarthy would want to bring Aaron into Dallas after they had their little tumultuous uh, into their uh, relationship. Their 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 marriage ended the way that it did. I would be that would be kind of interesting to see if 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 McCarthy would even want Aaron Rodgers. I've said it, you know, and I've been saying it for the past couple of years. I'm all up for Aaron Rodgers trade. Please, if you can get two, three, four, five first rounders or three first rounders and some good talent in return, please, I'm begging you, please trade this motherfucker. But I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But I also don't think that Dallas Cowboys are going to sign Dak Prescott to a long-term deal because Dak is asking for $40 million. And I'm sorry, Mr. Prescott, but you are not worth $40 million. You are not a $40 million quarterback. In fact, the only quarterback that probably is a $40 million quarterback is Patrick Mahomes because he's young. He's won a Super Bowl. He's won an MVP. And, yeah, he didn't look so good in his last uh, Super Bowl appearance, but he was injured and he was missing his two best tackles and they was all over his ass like white on rice. Like, I mean, like, what do you expect? Like, so, I mean, that, that, that is what it is. But he still went to back-to-back Super Bowls, and they're still going to be the favorite next year. And they have a, the most of that team, the all the best players on that team are lo- signed up, locked into long-term deals or just signed extensions to put them in Kansas City for the next four, five, six years. But if I was Dallas, I wouldn't sign Dak either, man. And I blame the, the the Cowboys currently have a top 10 pick. They are sitting at number 10. And I was saying this from the beginning. I think Dallas will be in business. They will be uh, interested in moving up into that top one or two or three spots to try and grab one of these young quarterbacks. And, and, if, and if not, they'll probably try to bring in a veteran, maybe like a Matt Ryan, who still has some 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 uh tread left on the tires i think matt ryan and i'm i've never really been a matt ryan fan but i mean he put up some pretty good numbers this year and that was like with julio jones missing an entire season and this dallas offensive uh weapons are are really fucking good much better than atlanta's if you ask me just like overall and uh well they're gonna need uh, dallas is gonna need some help on offensive line they're gonna have to kind of restock the cupboards there but i mean just taking everybody they have right now not factoring into who might leave in free agency but that combination of gallup cd lamb and and um cooper and the 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 tight ends and the running backs like that's a pretty good situation man for any quarterback so now will they be able to hold on to gallup we don't know like he's going to be a top free agent for sure i don't blame the cowboys for looking to move on from dak especially after dak at the price tag that Dak is asking. If I was a general manager and an owner, I would not pay any quarterback 20% of my cap like Rodgers currently commands over 20% of the Packers' entire cap. And if you ask me, it has not been worth it. It has not been worth it. Period. So if I was Cowboys, yeah. And Dak, is he's, a, he's basically a free agent. He didn't sign his tenure. He didn't sign his franchise tag. I doubt he'll want to sign it again. So they could do like a sign and trade or they could just let him walk once they have a better deal in place. But it was also reported that Dak followed, then unfollowed the Washington football team page. And so maybe Dak is, has his eyes on Washington. I mean, Washington is a good team that is just like a solid quarterback play away from being able to, I think, make a really serious run. Who do you to go, boy?